before this video starts guys, I just want to say that I'm going to be giving away copies of this banner template for absolutely free. I know there's people out there watching that do not have Cinema 40 or Photoshop, so for that reason, I just want to give back to the people who can't follow the tutorial. I'm going to be giving away one copy of this banner per 20 likes on this video. To enter, just drop a like and comment saying that you liked the video and you will be entered. I know 20 likes is a lot, but if you guys share this video, we can break 20 likes pretty easily. The more you share the video, the more likely we will get to 20 likes and again for every 20 likes this video gets i will be giving away a copy of this banner for absolutely free anyways that's pretty much all i have to say now let's jump right into this tutorial Let me fuck you right so what you guys want to do is you guys want to click the link in the description i'll bring you to this page once you guys are here, you guys can go ahead and just click download. Now this file is 100% safe. There are no viruses, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, once it is done downloading, go ahead and just click on it. And if it's down down here, just go ahead and just type in Instinct Banner Template. And it should appear. So it is right here. Now, you guys are going to need WinRAR for this tutorial. Now you guys should click on it and it should look like something like this. So go ahead and just drag this file onto your desktop. Now I'm not going to do that because I already have it right here. So once that is on your desktop, go ahead and just click on it. Now you guys are going to need to install the font blow brush unless you guys don't like the font that the banner template comes with. If you guys don't like the font, you guys can always change it. But if you guys want the font that is used for it, Go ahead and just double click on this and just click install. And once it is installed, you are pretty much set. Now you can just open up the Cinema 4D file and it will open up in Cinema 4D. All right, now once Cinema 4D has opened, go ahead and just do some really quick and just click on this. Um, and if it's black here and it doesn't work or if any part of the um, actual material is a black, go ahead and just do this. So if the materials are broken and it turns out black, there's a chance it might do that. It's probably not going to. But if it does, go ahead and just double click on the material. And where it says color, go ahead and see this texture right here. Go ahead and just click on this three dots right here. And go to your desktop. And then once you are at your desktop, go ahead to the banner template and double click textures. Now for this one, this green one here, double click on this and it should fix it. Now if you are having problems with the other material, go ahead and basically do the same thing. So just click on the material, click on the three dots, go to desktop and go to the uh, folder here and just double click on textures and choose this one. So that is how to fix the materials if for some reason they're black and they're just not working. All right, so. Once you are done with that, you guys can just go ahead and just click on the text and change this to whatever you want. So I'm just going to type in name. So yeah, now you guys might want to position your text better. So for example, the E is kind of falling off here. So what you can do is just click on this and make sure on your text layer and just slide it over a little bit to make it fit better. Kind of like that. It looks good. So if you have like a longer name, like Instinct, let's say, what you can do is you can go ahead and just, again, center this. Well, you guys can see that the text is not on the, the little blob here. So what you can do is just make your own landscape. Just hold down on this, go to landscape, check spherical, and then just go ahead and scale this down. Just go ahead and click this and just drag it down and move it back so just go ahead and just click this and move it back to about where it starts like sticking out of the text and move it back to where it does so like that and you can just move it over and just try to blend it in like that so and you can hit ctrl z ctrl v to do it again and yeah just do it again bring it to the other side and just make it look good so I think that looks pretty good now what you guys can do and again this is only if you have like a longer name if your name is pretty short and floats on the blob 
and you are all set to go you guys can just skip this but if you guys have like a longer name you can just make your own blobs and then go ahead and just drag this weaponized material onto the blob go ahead and click it and make sure this is cubic and this is seamless so what this does is it increases the quality of the material makes it HD now all you have to do is hold control on your keyboard click and drag it up and then you can do it once more put it on all the landscapes that you have so yeah so basically once you are all satisfied with everything everything is looking good you guys can go ahead and just click this button right here go to save click these three little dots here actually go ahead and just click save make sure actually go to output make sure this is 1928 by 1080 just make sure your render settings match mine go ahead and just click save and then same thing for here check png go ahead and click these three little dots make sure you are in your pictures area and you can name it whatever so i'm just gonna name it instinct um c4d tutorial render go ahead and just click save now this is what it will save as like for the name and it'll be in your pictures folder here so go ahead and just close this out you are all done now all you have to do is just click this button right here and it's all rendering out so i'll see you guys once it's done rendering in photoshop all right guys so it is just finished rendering now i said i would see you guys in photoshop now i forgot to mention there's actually a step you guys can do to make this slightly easier so instead of going right into Photoshop, what you guys can do is go to the uh, folder here and you guys can just double click on this uh, Adobe Photoshop document file. It should be named Instinct Spanner Template. Go ahead and just click on this and it will open the file itself, the Photoshop document in Photoshop so you guys don't have to go in Photoshop and open it. Alright, so once it is open, go ahead and just... Um, Find the text layer, so I actually I actually should have named these to be honest, but I kind of forgot. But um, let me see here. Um, it should be the layer two copies, for pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so find these three layers, right? Uh, layer two copy, layer two copy two, and layer two copy. These are your text layers. So what you guys can do is delete them. But actually, before you delete them, go ahead and just go to file and just go to open and go find your render you just made so it, I believe it's called instinct render c4 tutorial go ahead and just open it and drag it in now go ahead and just position it oh god this is weird go ahead and just hit control T and hold shift on your keyboard to make it proportional and just make it slightly smaller don't know why it's like that. And make it slightly smaller here. And just make sure it fits nicely. Um, I think that's about good right there. Go ahead and just click enter and go ahead and center it. I'm going to try to make it as closely centered as the original one as I possibly can. Alright, oh, I see why, okay, that's why it was weird, because I have this layer right here that's over it. Oops, this layer, okay. So go ahead and just um, delete this layer 2 copy, and go ahead and just delete the layer 2 copy too, and delete this layer 2. Okay, so now it should look something like this, you just have your layer, your render here, and it's still doing that, don't know why. All right. I'm just moving this over a little bit and hit control T. I'm gonna make this slightly smaller. Something like that. Oops. And um, I noticed that these two layers right here um, don't exactly meet up, so I'm actually gonna fix that. I believe it's this layer. Yep. Yeah, I'm just gonna drag this layer to make it match, just like that, so you can't really see it there. In the original template, it was hidden, but yeah, so I'm just going to make that blend in like that. So, basically, once you guys are here, go ahead and click Control J. Make sure you are on your layer, your text layer here. Hit Control J. What this will do is it will duplicate the layer and then do it once more. 
So we should have three layers. So what you guys want to do is you guys want to go to the last layer, the layer that's on the bottom of the three, hit control T, hit shift, and just drag this bigger here. And just make it pretty big. I'll just like, like this. And that will do a little bit. I'm just going to make it slightly more to the left here. And bring this down to like 20%, I'd say I had it at. I honestly can't remember, but 20 looks good. And then make sure you're also selected on this. And go to filter, go to blur, go to radial blur. Set the amount to 10. 10 to 15 usually works pretty good. I'm going to go with 10. For this, for this, I think I went with 15 in the original, honestly, I can't remember. And then select best. And then go ahead and just click OK. Now what this will do is you guys can probably see it just applied so that you can kind of see it blurted out. You know, kind of see something in the distance back here. And yeah, so if you don't check it, that's what it does. It just adds a little blur. And, and then go to the top one and so, or actually, Go to filter, go to filter gallery, go to stylize I believe, yeah, stylize and click glowing edges, and go ahead and click OK. Once you guys see this, go ahead and just make sure the opacity is down to around like that's say 20 to 25, and that actually looks amazing, that color correction right there. And yeah, if you guys like think it's like too light or too dark, go ahead and just click overlay and that will make it lighter and then you guys can um, raise the opacity and make it slightly darker but I actually like how it looked originally so I'm gonna leave it at 20% and make the blending overlay um, normal so make the blending mode normal alright so you're pretty much done for your text layers to be honest and the banner itself is pretty much done now one thing you guys can notice is because you guys are using different size names like you might have a name that's four letters you might have one that's eight um if it if it's like a long name like mine what you guys can do is like hide these two layers or something actually like these three these three layers the text layers here and what you guys can do is you guys can um move this first to make it like go over the text if it's not already for me, it is perfectly over the letters, so I kind of like it in that position. But what you guys can do is just kind of reposition everything here. Oops, wrong layers. And yeah, so go ahead and you can see these feather copies here. Um, just kind of like move them to make it match. Honestly, I'm not going to mess with it. But you guys can just move it around, make it slightly bigger. Um, for example. Um, you guys can see it's not showing that well, so what you guys could do is just hit Control T, scale it, make it slightly bigger on each side. That way, it's slightly more visible, you know. And then just you know, bring it down, just kind of position it in the middle like that. And you guys can also do that with the green lights here. Um, I can show you guys these green lights here, or the green lights. And basically, you can do the same thing with all this. Um, it's not even showing, it's barely showing actually. You guys can just make this bigger. Now, I honestly kind of just realized I shouldn't have grouped them because you guys might want to edit them individually instead of making them bigger, but oh well. This works just as good, basically. Anyways, so I'm pretty much done here. Now, one last thing you guys can do. It's, if you guys just do not like this color scheme, what you guys can do is just go ahead and select everything, right click, and go to merge layers. Now, once you guys do this, just make sure that you guys are completely satisfied because you can't edit any layers except for this layer only. Or and if you guys do like mess up or whatever, you guys can always find it in your history and just delete the um, history. So just delete this merge layers if you guys want to go back and edit it but basically once you're all done what you guys can do if you guys do not like this color scheme is just merge all the layers like i just did hit Control u and then just change the color so like that looks pretty nice um 
like all these colors it's really nice honestly I kind of like the um, original the most also like like this blue looks really nice as well I'm actually gonna go with this blue um, let's say about like there and yeah that looks really dope and yeah that's pretty much it guys so um, go ahead and just save it. Go to file, save as, make sure it is uh, PNG, make sure you are in your pictures, and you guys can name it whatever you want. I'm honestly just gonna save it as this. Um, I'm not gonna replace the original. Hold up. I'm just gonna rename it Instinct Banner Tutorial. And click save. And once you guys see the PNG options, just go ahead and just click OK. And that is it. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace. I have done for my love.